We were driving along, taking in the beautiful scenery, when suddenly, old Bessie overheats. A good friend of mine who happens to be a Ford Master technician warned me about these thermostat housing issues with these Ford Explorers. That might be what is going on here. Fortunately, we do have roadside assistance with our insurance. A friendly tow truck driver named Anthony came to our rescue. The wind was really gnarly and there were even some dust storms that passed over us. Luckily, the nearest town was only 17 miles away. And fortunately for us, he was able to grab Pedro at the same time. We were so excited that the shop owner answered the phone after hours and allowed us to sleep on the property for the night. It's leaking out back here, watch this here. Okay, it's cracked. Just like my buddy said, it's probably cracked. Yeah, so that's going to be this whole yeah. housing here. There we go. Let's see again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do a block test anyways, though, so we're not... Yeah, we don't want to... If you've got it too hot, just warp the head or something. We want to know now. Yeah. Now we're just waiting on parts. Um, it's going to be one to two hours of labor. Uh, for the repair and in the meantime Guess we just need to try to find something to do Pretty pretty small town. I mean, there's a state park down the street. So maybe we'll uh, Cruise down there and get some exercise get some exercise in got the bikes on back of Pedro So I might just pull those out and just kind of cruise around Yeah, so far so good See where it blew out the seal right from here oh, yeah. to there and you see how it warped it. So putting a new seal in, it would have just would have wouldn't have held. Yeah, you know, you have no support right in there. Kind of a yeah. great manufactured part, really. And it looks like this was actually used. There's writing on it. Oh, I don't really? know if this was take that, taken out of a used car. It could have been interesting and put in you. Yeah. You, before you got it, but my uh, educated assumption is that this this got stuck, got hot enough that it was able to warp. Okay. Then it warped enough to where it could blow out. Yeah. This is the weakest link, basically. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we went across the street to grab breakfast, and as soon as we were done, we got a call from Ken at the shop saying our Ford was ready to be picked up. Woohoo! And we got out of there for less than $400. Score. Back on the road again. Check you guys later.